Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy. Today I will be talking about how to install and debug C++ program using code LLDB in VS Code. Okay. So what is code LLDB? Code LLDB is a Visual Studio code extension designed to provide debugging support for uh, low-level debugger or LLDB in the Visual Studio Code Editor. LLDB is a debugger developed by the LLVM project and is commonly used in conjunction with the CLang compiler. Code LLDB allows developers to debug their C and C++ code using the LLDB debugger with the VS Code environment. It provides features such as setting breakpoint, inspecting variables, and stepping through code. This extension enhances the debugging experience for C and C++ developers who prefer using VS Code as their integrated developer environment, or IDE. Okay, let's open VS Code and click on the, the gear uh, button on the left uh, bottom corner. So let's click on that and choose extension and then type in code LLDB okay and click on install and the installation is completed. Okay as soon as you completed the installation of code LLDB please restart uh, VS Code and then um, let's open up um, a, a series of programs I already created. Okay, and as you can see here, I placed those breakpoints here, but I can't really debug this yet until I create a configuration. So to do so, I click on this icon here, run and debug, and then uh, click on the create launch JSON. And then below, there is a button called Add Configuration. Click on Add Configuration. Then scroll to the bottom, and you can see that there is a Code LLDB Launch option. Click on that. Okay, and then it asks for the workspace folder and the program. So I have a program called Standard Array.exe that I will be creating or generating. So let's go back to this and standard array. I know I built it one time already, but you don't have to do that. So click on this and the breakpoints are present. Then click on this icon again and then click on launch. Okay, and it's already at the first breakpoint and if you hover over to the variable you can see that it's um, value of zero you can click on you know step into or step out or restart or stop or you can uh, do uh, like um, F10 if you click on F10 you notice uh, you just uh, is the equivalent of uh, step over so you can see I stepping over and I can add uh, an array I'm sorry add a variable to my watch list here as you can see here there's nothing here but you can see that uh, there are data in here as well so say and then uh, if you click on debug console um, or terminal um, you should see the output if um, 
standard uh, output is present. Okay. I'll just go through uh, the next breakpoint. Okay, to just do an F5. Okay. And F10. And you can see that um, in the terminal subset of element in the array. So you can see that it's generating the data as we speak, as we step into the code. Okay. Okay, and then just F5 to finish the, um, the, the program. Okay, just going to step out of it. Okay, so that's how um, you can debug using CoLDB. Yeah, it's not the most friendly way of configuring a debug configuration. It's uh, it's a lot more easier using uh, Microsoft Visual Studio than VS Code. But uh, as you can see, that that's how you you debug uh, a C plus plus program using Code LLDB. Okay. So let me try it one more time. So you can see that here, run. Uh, click on launch, and and then you can do F10. You can add, um, you know, you can add a breakpoint. You can add to watch list. You know, on and on. See. Okay, and so I can stop my debugging by click on this button. And that's it. That's all the time I have for this tutorial. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to press like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.